Hey y'all, Matt here from Super Niche Sites. In the video today, I'm gonna to be talking about how you can use Ahrefs for keyword research and also to optimize your existing blog posts without spending the $99 every single month for Ahrefs. Now, Ahrefs used to offer a free trial that was $7 a month. And if you've signed up in the past using this free trial and then canceled, you can actually get this without spending anything at all. And that's what I do. I originally signed up for a free trial on Ahrefs, the $7 a few years back, truthfully, I believe it was. And then I canceled it because I didn't want to spend the $100 a month. Well, now they don't offer the $7 free trial. It's $99 or $83 a month. But I'm going to be showing you exactly how I use Ahrefs free plan to optimize my blog posts and to get new keyword ideas for my blogs as well. So let's go ahead and hop into Ahrefs and I'll show you exactly how I use it, how I can use it to optimize my blog posts, and then also how I can use it to find new keywords and get new keyword ideas as well. Before we get to that, please be sure to hit the like button and then also subscribe to the channel. So here's the front end of the Ahrefs website. And as you can see here, this is how much their plans cost. They range from $99 a month all the way up to $999 a month. Now, if you have used a free trial before, then you can go ahead and use that to log into Ahrefs and you don't need to use one of these subscription plans. However, if you've never used Ahrefs, for Ahrefs before, then you will have to subscribe to the $99 plan. And then what I would recommend doing is canceling immediately and contacting them and seeing if you'll be able to get that money back. They might be able to do that for you. Um, and then you'll have the free account. Unfortunately, there's no way to create a free account unless you've already had an account and canceled it in the past. So you would have to pay that $99 for the first month, but then after that, you wouldn't have to pay anything else. Also, like I said, if you already have an Ahrefs Ref account that you have canceled the subscription on, then you can use Ahrefs for free using this method that I'm going to show you. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go over to Ahrefs. This is after I log in. And as you can see here, I am on the Site Explorer. You'll normally start on the dashboard and then you go to Site Explorer. And for this video, I'm using an example of someone, a uh, subscriber reached out to me and said, hey, can you help me out with this website? It hasn't been doing the best in the world. They're getting, I think, around 100 page views a day. So it's not horrible, but it's certainly not very good. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm gonna uh, use this video to show them exactly what I would do if I was to take over their site or what I was to do if I was to advise them and how I would advise them using this Ahrefs free um, free service, free plan. And that's what I'm on here is a 100% free plan. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Site Explorer and then you're going to type in the domain. So for our example, the it is weddingsbuzz.com is the domain that we're gonna be looking at. And then you're going to click on the search button. Okay, so what I clicked on there, I normally you'll have to connect your domain. I've already done that using Google Search Console, of course, with their approval. And so I've got their domain connected on the back end. Otherwise, you, you'll, you can either connect the domain manually when you're doing using the Site Explorer tab, or you can connect the domain through Google Search Console as well. Here at the top, you'll see organic traffic bouncing around over the past, uh, let's see, there's 2019, went down from 2020, 2021, and then over the last year or so, um, maybe a year and a half, you can see it's been going up, up, bounced down, has come back up. Looks like traffic is um, 1.4K. I'm not sure if that's per week or what exactly that is. But anyway, we can look at the last month as well. And we can see what Ahrefs estimates the traffic is. So they're, they're showing traffic at 1.4K over the last month. Um, Ahrefs is normally not entirely accurate, but anyway, and then there's the keywords. But here's what you're going to use this for. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll here on this left-hand pane. And what we're looking for is we're looking for organic keywords. So you're going to click into that. And what it's gonna show you is it's gonna show you all of the keywords that your website is currently ranking for. Now, if you have a brand new website using this method probably won't work very well. But what I'm gonna do is instead of just looking today, I'm going to look at, let's see if I can look at all of these. Nope. Not gonna let me. Oh, you have to upgrade to see the full history. Okay, so I can just look at today's and see what it's currently ranking for today. If you have the $99 plan or whatever, um, then you can look at the extended one, but that's fine. Then I'm going to do position and I'm going to do, let's look at the top 30. Okay, so this is the website is ranking somewhere in the top 30. 
So then we've got these, these domains, what the traffic is that they're getting. And then, uh, so this is the URLs, what traffic it is that they're getting and what their current position is. So we're at position one, position seven, position nine, position two. I'm gonna go up here and instead of doing just up to 30, I'm gonna do from 10 to, let's just do 40. Okay, so that will tell us it's not ranking on the first page of Google, but it is ranking somewhere in the top section. And then I'm gonna click show results. And this is going to give me all of the different URLs, search terms, etc., that this website is currently ranking for, but not ranking at the top. So for example, we've got how long does a Manny Petty take? And the URL is how long does a Manny Petty take? So that's fine. What I want to do here, okay, so we've got Home Depot gift registry, Home Depot wedding registry. So what I would do is uh, if I was this person is I would go to this URL and make sure that this variation, Home Depot gift registry is used at least a couple of times in this blog article on Weddings Buzz. And why? Because it's currently ranking position 10. If Home Depot gift registry is not mentioned anywhere in this article, by simply adding it in a couple of times, so instead of saying your Home Depot wedding registry, they just use this other synonym essentially, Home Depot gift registry, you should be able to move up. And according to Ahrefs, your volume is 300, so you'll be able to bring in a decent amount of that volume. Let's go down to this next one here. Okay, Generation Tux Reviews, the, the URL is Generation Tux Reviews for easy, affordable, and style and rentals. I would leave that, okay, it's already got it, it even has it in the title. Um, we've got Vicky Flowers Chicago, Vicky Flowers Review. So not sure, or not it's, not, it's not Vicky, it's Vivek, I guess, Flowers Chicago. Um, probably going to be the same thing here. They're ranking number 11. They're probably not gonna move up unless there is something specific about Chicago that they could talk about. Got the same thing in Atlanta. I'm gonna assume these people are looking for Vivek Flowers in Chicago or in Atlanta. That's why this website is ranking page or position 11, position 12. Scroll back down here. Can you wear black and white to a wedding? Can you wear black and white? To, can you wear a black and white wedding dress? Okay. So this is a perfect example of an article idea. This you, this article is currently ranking position 12 for something it's not even writing about. Can you wear black and white to a wedding? Is a query. They're talking about. I need going to a wedding, can I wear black and white? Maybe wear a black and white dress or wear a black and white top or those sorts of things. And the article is talking about, can you wear a black and white uh, dress to, oh, okay. Can you wear a black and white dress to a wedding as a guest? Okay, so it actually is um, targeting this. But I would go in and make sure, if this was my site, I'd go in and make sure that it's actually, this phrase is used at least a couple of times. Can you wear black and white to a wedding? So maybe in this article, they've only talked about wearing a black and white dress or wearing a black and white top and they never just use can you wear black and white to a wedding okay so we'll scroll down here uh, macy's bridal registration we've got macy's bridal registry so maybe they need to add that keyword in let's scroll down dh get dh gate wedding gowns dh gets wedding dress review so again i'd make sure that it's got the synonyms the wedding gowns in there as well uh snappy casual for men so i've got what is snappy casual attire so what I do is I go in and edit this article and I would make sure that there's a subheading that is what is snappy casual for men and then describe that. Maybe this article only is talking about snappy casual for women or maybe it's only just talking about snappy casual in general. So I would make sure that I've got a subheading of what is snappy casual for men, what is snappy casual for women and discussing both of those since this, this keyword is currently ranking number 11, okay? We've got is Zazzle legit? Okay, here's a good one. And the article, Zazzle Invitation Reviews, is ranking 27 for this. This would be a perfect example of an article that you should write for your website. It's talking about Zazzle. You're ranking 27 for an article that's not on point. So you're going to want to write an article, is Zazzle legit? So if you've got a, this website, I would recommend that you write an article titled, is Zazzle legit? Because you're already ranking number 27 for this with Zazzle invitation reviews. So you write an article that's targeting just is Zazzle legit, you should be able to rank much better for it and bring in that good volume. And look at that volume there, we're talking 2.9K. So I would 100% try to go after that. All right, so we've got the next one, how do tea lights burn? Um, how long do tea light candles burn? So I would make sure to use this variation in the article. How long do tea, light, tea, how long do tea lights last? How long do tea light candles burn? Again, I'd make sure that I'm using this variation. Macy's Bridal Reg instead of Registry. Make sure I'm using that variation in that article. Uh, Kroger Wedding Flowers. So are Kroger's flowers good? I would make sure if, if this article doesn't have um, a, let's go ahead and click to it actually, because we can, we can look at it as well. 
you can click in here and see um, we got the table of contents at the top scroll down let's look what was it Kroger wedding flowers so let's just go control F wedding flowers okay and there is not even used anywhere in this article so I just controlled F and look and it's wedding flowers is not used anywhere in the article so Kroger wedding flowers would be a good subheading to add so maybe it would be does Kroger have wedding flowers or are Kroger's wedding flowers good or something like that and you're going to you're currently ranking on position 17 so on page two when wedding flowers is not even used in the article so let's scroll down a little bit more um, how long does a mani pedi take? We already talked about that one at the top, I believe. Uh, wedding dresses from China. Okay, so AliExpress wedding dresses reviews. If you don't know what AliExpress is, it's a Chinese website. So what I would do is I would make sure that I have a section in this article. If this was my site, a section in this article, uh, wedding dresses from China review. Like, and then talk about are wedding dresses from China good? Do, how do they compare to ones you would order from maybe a US uh, based website or from Amazon or something like that? People are obviously look, whoever searches this is obviously looking for cheap wedding dresses because they're they're looking at those ones from China. They wanna know, are they any good? Are, are they gonna fall apart? Are they going to actually look like the pictures? Those sorts of things, okay? Um, here's Snappy Casual Men again. Um, so there's all these different ones here, okay? So that's how I would use it to find keywords and to optimize. Now, another option that you can do, which I actually like this option a lot, is I'm just gonna copy this URL itself. I'm, and then I'm going to paste, instead of the entire domain, I'm going to paste that URL in the top. And this works great for optimizing your original blog or original your original blog content using Ahrefs. So as you can see here, um, we've got position 10 to 40, that's fine. As you can see here, our Kroger Flowers is good. It's gonna show me all of the ones that are currently ranking between positions 10 and 40. So Kroger Wedding Flowers, we already talked about that. Not even Wedding Flowers aren't even in that article. Kroger Floral Wedding, okay? So again, I'm gonna add in the subheading about the wedding flowers and I'm gonna make sure to do this. Okay, then flower arrangements. So it's asking about flower, flower arrangements. Let's type in arrange, uh, mint. Okay, so it's used five times, arrange mint. Um, are they paying a little extra for a florist arrangement? There are a few different ways you can turn that bundle of flowers into an arrangement. So it's talking about making a floral arrangement, but it's not really talking about Kroger's floral arrangements. So I would probably add in a subheading and be like, um, the best Kroger floral arrangements and then list them. Here's my recommendation. Maybe pull, get some pictures of those floral arrangements. Go into your local Kroger's if you have one, take those pictures. How much does a dozen roses cost at, cost at Kroger? Again, ranking position 22 for this. So you're on the, barely at the at the top of page three for this. And I'm gonna guess it's not even used. Let's look at cost here. Yeah, cost isn't even used in this article at all. So you create a subheading towards the bottom. How much does a dozen roses cost at, cost at Kroger? And then you can rank for this keyword. All right, let's drop. Let's drop the 40 and let's see what else we have on this URL. And then let's go show results. And then I'm going to, okay, so it's only still only showing those same eight. Okay, so it's currently only ranking um, for those eight. Uh, it added one, looks like Kroger Florist uh, was ranking 53. Okay, so it, it had seven, it added in one more. So that's how I would use this to optimize the different posts. Let's look at some of the recent posts here on this website, Wedding Weddings Buzz, yep. Um, we, we looked at this one, how long do tea light candles burn? We saw a couple different ones. I'm gonna copy that, scroll here, and we're gonna go paste there, and I'm gonna click the search button, okay? So these are going to be from position 10, so it's not ranking on the first page of Google, which if you want to, you wanna make sure you optimize, you could go to top five position or five and lower. So maybe something's ranking number six and you don't even have it in the article. You could do that as well to make sure to optimize your blog post, okay? So we've got, um, let's do by volume and let's look at these that are gonna have the most volume that it's currently ranking for. Okay, so we've got 600. How long do tea lights burn? I'd make sure that I'm using this, okay? That's on, tar on, tar on target, can't talk. That is on target. Um, but you're ranking position 32. So I'm going to guess um, Google might think tea lights is different than tea light candles. So make sure you're using those variations. How long does a tea light candle burn? That's probably already covered. 
It's just not ranking very well yet. How long does a tea light burn? That's gonna be the same as up there. So it's probably not used. How long do V Vaduv? Is that how it is? Okay, so we're ranking position 67. So let's, I'm gonna guess Vaduv. Yep, not even used, okay. So you go into this article and you're gonna want to optimize it for how long does a Vaduv candle burn? Okay, maybe Vodiv and tea light are the same thing. I have no idea about candles. Um, I don't use candles. I just have a few candles around my house that my wife lights for um, for Halloween, for fall time that you know smell like pumpkins and random stuff like that. Um, but I don't do anything with candles, so I have no idea what a Vodiv candle is or tea light. But obviously, we've got here's how long do Vodiv candle burns ranking 67. How long does a Vodiv candle burn ranking 68? So these are ranking in the 20s and 30s. These are ranking in the 60s. So Google doesn't know if a Vodiv candle is the same as a tea light. If it isn't, I would 100% add a subheading. If it is, I'd probably still add a subheading, just talking about Vodiv candles versus tea light candles. They're basically the same thing or what the differences are. And then I would also make sure that I talk about how long do they burn? Because this article is already ranking and it's got two of these with volume of 250, okay? This is just a variation, so I wouldn't worry about that. How long does tea candles burn? I'd probably make sure that I add that cinnamon, synonym, not cinnamon, synonym in. Um, how long does a tea light candle burn? I'd also add how long does how long do tea candles burn or something like that. Make sure you're talking about tea candles, not just tea light candles. So you're showing Google, hey, this is the same term, the same article about the same thing. Scroll down here. How long do they last? How long do they burn? How long do they last? Um, let's see if we have any other options here. Burn time, okay. We're ranking eight for tea light candle burn time. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's read this article and see if it actually gives an amount of time. Uh, tea light candles burn for about three to five hours. So I would just add this keyword in. So tea light, um, tea light candles have a burn time of about three to five hours. Exactly how long their burn time is, and you're just going to add those keywords in a couple of different times to make sure Google knows that the burn time, how long they burn is the same thing. Okay, uh, let's see, how long do they last? How long will they burn? How long will they burn? Okay, so that's that's all of them on this article. That's what I would use to go in and optimize your current blog post on your current website and also how I would find different keywords. The last thing that I wanted to mention here on the Ahrefs dashboard that you can use it for is that you can actually search all of your organic keywords on your site by specific keywords. So you just go over here to the top and click on keywords. So for example, we've got at what age do parents not do parents not pay for a wedding? All right, so we can type in pay, click apply, and then you're going to click show results. Make sure you click show results. And it's going to show up all of the keywords that have the word pay in them. So there's 46. So at what age do parents not pay? What do the groom's parents pay for? How much money should the groom's parents give? Okay, different different um, different articles. What does the groom parents pay for? What are the groom parents supposed to pay for? What do groom parents pay for? Groom parents pay for? Groom parents pay for? Uh, scroll down here. What should they pay for? What do they pay for at a wedding? Uh, what, is, what are they supposed to pay for? Okay, what do the parents of the groom? So they're just, just different variations. Okay, so you can do it by that instead of doing it by the actual URL. And I clicked on the keyword, so I went to the keyword explorer as well. A lot of the things on Ahrefs they want you to pay for. And I get it, like they're trying to make money, they're a company. Um, but these are all the, all the different things that you can look for, pay for. So let's go, some, go with something that's a little bit more specific than just pay. So let's look, go back to all of our keywords that this site is ranking for. And see, we've got Home Depot, okay? So we're gonna add Home Depot as a keyword, okay? So you can do this instead of doing just the URL. So maybe you've got a keyword on your site that's ranking on mul or that's ranking for multiple different web pages. You might wanna unoptimize one of the pages for that and then optimize another one. So we've got Home Depot Wedding Registry Review. So we've got Wedding Registry, Registry, Gift Registry, already mentioned that. But then we've got, does Home Depot have a wedding registry? Ranking number six. I would make sure that this article has, does Home Depot have a wedding registry as a subheading? You're ranking number six, you've got 90 volume, so 100% make sure it's there. Scroll down here. Can you register at Home Depot? Again, you've got your ranking on number seven, so I would make sure that that's a subheading, just somewhere down towards the bottom in an FAQ style would be fine. Scrolling down, registering at Home Depot, so I'd make sure to that this article, I haven't looked at it, but I'd make sure that it actually talks about how to do how to register at Home Depot. 
and scroll down here home depot registry the not wedding registry 20 okay here's really good examples home depot gifts for him hope home depot gifts for men okay i would make sure you have a subheading on this keyword that talks about best home depot gifts for men to add to the wedding registry then i'd add another section best home depot gifts for women to add on the wedding registry and so now you're not only going to rank for the home depot wedding registry but you also might rank for home depot gifts for him home depot gifts for men and a lot of websites are go are not going to be going after these sorts of terms because they're not going to be able to really get affiliate income from them because these are people looking at home depot and they want to know man i'm at home depot what should i buy so they're not gonna get very many affiliate clicks, so the competition isn't going to be as high as if you're just searching gifts for him or gifts for men. The competition is gonna be massively high in those. But as you can see here, Ahrefs says the competition for Home Depot gifts for men is a two. Okay, so let's actually go to uh, Google here. And let's go to Home Depot gifts for men. And let's see what they say. Okay, so we've got add, 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 gift ideas from Home Depot. And then you got Bob Vila has the 50 hottest holiday gifts, 50 ho hottest holiday gifts from Home Depot, 30 amazing gifts you can buy from Home Depot, best gifts found at Home Depot for under $20. But these aren't talking about specifically for men. Okay, then you've got a YouTube video, uh, gifts under $50 you can get at Home Depot. So I would 100% make sure you're adding that in on your URL. Okay, so that is how I use my free Ahrefs account. I'll go in and look at each one of these. I'll typically search by position. I'll start with like five. And if you want to leave it, leave it open-ended so you can see all the different ones, that's totally fine. Click show results. And these are all the ones that you're ranking not in the top five for. So Home Depot wedding registry, I'd make sure that that article is optimized for that. Maybe it needs to be longer when compared to the other the other ones, so let's do Home De Depot Wedding Registry, okay? And let's see what we got. We got add, add, perfect wedding registry picks from Home Decor, Home Depot. Then we've got My Early Registry. Then I've got a forum. Then I've got a forum. Uh, what you need on your Home Depot wedding registry list. So my guess is, okay, here's the article showing here. Um, I'm not sure why they have a picture of a house. That's a really, really weird image to have with a Home Depot wedding registry. I don't know why it doesn't have like a picture of a Home Depot gift card, kind of like Zola does. Um, and then the title is weird, in-depth review to the Home Depot wedding registry. So I might put like Home Depot we wedding registry, semicolon, review and gift ideas or something like that. Okay, so now I'm, talk I'm telling people that I'm reviewing it. I'm telling people that I am giving gift ideas that they can find at Home Depot. And that should help you move up from position, uh, what is this, seven, eight? Yeah, it looks like it's ranking position nine, actually. Um, position nine, further up, you should at least be able to beat these um, these forums and be somewhere up here uh, without too much difficulty on this site, okay? So I make sure to do that, and then you look through all of these different reviews. You're ranking position seven for light in the box wedding dresses, position nine for Home Depot registry, snappy casual, ranking number eight. That's got really good volume. Okay, so if you can get from, from position eight to the top of page one, you're gonna start bringing in a lot more traffic on this site. So make sure that you talk more about Snappy Casual in this article. What is Snappy Casual for men? What is Snappy Casual for women? What is Snappy Casual for kids? Okay, add different sub, subheadings that make your article more helpful that will help you move up to the top of page one. I hope this video has been helpful to you in answering your questions about how you can use the Ahrefs free plan to optimize your current content, to get keywords ideas for your website that are specific for your website. And remember, this is for a website that hasn't been around that long, doesn't have a lot of keywords that it's ranking for, only 1,200. If you have a site that's been around much longer, you're gonna have tens of thousands of different keywords that you're ranking in the top 100 for that you can search through on here and be like, oh man, I need to optimize this article. Or, oh, here's a new key, new idea for a new article that has tons of great volume. And you can do this all on the Ahrefs free plan that's after you've canceled your free trial, if you've done that in the past, or after you cancel your $99 a month plan as well. Again, my name is Matt. I'm from Super Niche Sites. Have a great rest of your day.